Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you the best cheap Minecraft hosting servers. When it comes to specifically cheap Minecraft hosting servers, there are only two that are actually good and extremely cheap when compared to other Minecraft server hosts. So I'm going to go over what these server hosts are and how they compare to the other Minecraft server hosts that are out there. I will leave links for all of the Minecraft server hosts that I mentioned in the description of this video. Of course, there are affiliate links and if you do sign up to your Minecraft server host using those links, I will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Overall, these commissions just help me keep the lights on here at this channel and help me create more content like this. However, this does not affect the outcome of the video as I'm just going to give you the facts and features. So if we jump right in, I actually want to start out with an honourable mention and this is going to be Shockbite. Now, Shockbite is not the cheapest Minecraft host in the world, but it is cheaper than a lot of other Minecraft hosts, and it is also widely regarded in the Minecraft community as the server host with the best performance. So, to show you the pricing of this, if we go to Minecraft for example, and let's take an 8GB server. As you can see, the standard price is going to be $32 per month, but for the first month, we get this $23 discount. In comparison to some other Minecraft server hosts, as we can see right here, 8 gigabytes on Nodecraft is going to be $40. So we are saving, what, almost $10 per month by going with Shockbite. Uh, we could even compare this with Host Havoc right here, which also charges $40 per month for 8 gigabytes of RAM. So although it is not the cheapest in the world, as it is cheaper than some of the other providers that are out there, and as I say, it is widely regarded as the best for performance out of any Minecraft host in the game, Shockbite definitely deserves an honourable mention on the list. Now, to get into the two extremely cheap Minecraft server hosts that are actually good, there are only two Minecraft server hosting companies that actually fall into this category. And these are going to be Hostinger and Pebblehost. Now, to show you just how cheap they are, if we go to budget Minecraft hosting right here on Pebblehost, and we go down, let's go to an 8GB server right here, which if you remember, on Shockbite was like $30 or something, right? Just go to Minecraft, $31 per month, $32 per month for 8 gigabytes. Pebblehost is just $8. $8 per month for 8 gigabytes of hosting. And then on Hostinger, if we go right here, we can see 8 gigabytes of RAM. And it looks like this is just going to be $7 per month. It kind of is. And what I mean by it kind of is, is if we go choose plan right here, if you go for a 24 month or a 12 month plan, then this is extremely cheap. Like for a year period, we pay 750 a month. For a two year period, we pay 699. If we just go to pay monthly, it is still significantly cheaper than pretty much all of the other Minecraft server hosts, but it is still $20 per month. This 1599 is just the first month discount. Whereas with Pebblehost, like this is just $8 per month. No matter if you go yearly, monthly, I actually think you might get, do you get an additional discount with this? It might just be with higher plans. Yeah, look at this. You get like an extra 7% discount if you pay every 12 months. So if you do want to go for the yearly and you do want to claim a little bit of an extra discount, then Pebblehost is going to be $90 per month. Hostinger is going to be pretty much the same price. Did I say $90 per month there? I meant 89 so we can see $89 for 12 months, Hostinger, $89 for the 12 months. So pretty much the same price. Now, the question is out of these, which one is actually the best? In terms of just straight up performance, Hostinger is going to be the best out of the two. And there is a reason for this, right? So the reason is that Hostinger is not primarily a Minecraft or gaming server host. What Hostinger primarily is, is web hosting right? So because they sell web hosting and Hostinger is one of the most popular web hosting platforms in the world, because of this, because they sell so much hosting, they can sell extremely high performance hosting for cheaper. Whereas Pebblehost, it only really does gaming hosting. So although it is cheap, we are essentially going with the budget Minecraft hosting, which out of all of the Pebblehost options 
is the cheapest. So we can see we can go up to premium and pay a little bit more. For 8 gigabytes, this is going to be $18 per month. And this is where you can start getting better performance. Another big reason that Hostinger is going to be a lot better than Pebblehost is because uh, of the one-click installer. So if I actually go back to gaming right here, we can see that with any of these plans, we get mod support. So this is like a one-click mod pack installer if you want to install mods onto your server. Pebblehost doesn't have this, with the budget anyway. With the premium, as we can see, one-click mod pack installer, nice. With budget, it just doesn't have this. So this is a key takeaway right here. If you need mods on your server, or you think in the future you might need mods, then Hostinger is going to be by far the best option. All of these server hosts are going to have DDoS protection. I mean, right here on the budget, we only get 160 compared to 480. So we do get DDoS protection, but it's just not as good as these higher tier plans. Whereas on Hostinger, I just looked through and it doesn't say the exact amount, but it's going to be very high because as I said, this does web hosting. This is a huge company, uh, but Hostinger is a lot better, better than Pebblehost. So I can't say for 100% fact, but I would be willing to bet a lot of money that we are going to be getting at least 480. And on that point, just to show you how incredible both of these companies are, uh, we can go over to Trustpilot and look at the reviews. So if we start off with Pebblehost, we can see that incredible reviews, 4.7. Uh, but this is what I was talking about earlier with it being a smaller company. So this is not a huge concern because like 3,600 reviews almost, still a huge company, still have an absolute bunch of social proof. And we can just look down and look at this, it's all five star reviews. With Hostinger on the other hand, you can see 33,000 reviews, so a lot more. However, the only thing about Hostinger on Trustpilot is because they mainly sell web hosting, this is, all of these reviews are for web hosting. Like, very rarely are we going to find a review here that's actually about Minecraft hosting. Because Hostinger, as I said, they primarily sell web hosting. Minecraft is just kind of like an add-on, but it's still extremely good. Uh, aside from that, I'm trying to think if there is anything else that is important. Uh, so, of course, uh, in terms of the actual hardware, Hostinger definitely have a better hardware for this. Uh, the reason is going to be, like, if we just pull this together, we were looking at 8 gigabytes, which is Game Panel 2, and we can see straight off the bat, two CPU cores over here on Game Panel 2 on Hostinger, compared to one that we get on Pebblehost. Now, the RAM is going to be the same. We specifically looked at 8 gig. Uh, disk space is 100 gig. I don't think it says on Pebblehost what the actual disk space is. Um, so I, I couldn't tell you that. But overall, as I said, because Hostinger is such a big company, they make so many sales, the hardware that you get is going to be better. And then the absolute final thing to mention is going to be the cancellation and the return policy. So if I add Pebblehost to my basket right here, they only have a 72 hour refund policy. Whereas Hostinger, and I've done so many Minecraft reviews, Hostinger has the best of all of them. 30 day money back guarantee. This is like unheard of in the Minecraft hosting space. So as I said, Pebblehost might be okay if you just need a quick turnaround on the refund. But Hostinger, you've actually got a chance to test this out for a few weeks and see if you really like this. So overall, when we are looking at the best cheap Minecraft server hosting companies, it really comes down to Pebblehost and Hostinger. I would recommend going with Hostinger, I think it is the best. The only downside to this is to really get that super cheap pricing at either $6.99 or $7.50 per month, you need to be going with a one year to two year plan. If you don't, then you are going to be paying almost double the price at like $15.99. Whereas Pebblehost, the performance isn't as good because we are on the budget hosting option, but we can pay monthly and still get that super cheap pricing at, I think it was $6.99 for 8 gig of RAM. Either way, if you did find this video valuable or you got any value from this video, all I ask is that when you sign up to your hosting, you do so using the links in the description, because as I say, I do earn a small commission and it supports the channel. But those are the best cheap server hosting companies for Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed.